Are you seeing a ton of people selling Disney or other trademark items on Etsy? And you're like, if everyone else is doing it, why can't I do it too? Then today's video is for you because I wanna tell you about my personal experience about selling trademarked items on Etsy and how it's changed the way I create things for my Etsy shop. Hi, I'm Lindsay and I teach women how to make money online using their creative skills. And this is a topic that is so hard and I get it. And the reason it's hard isn't because you aren't sure if it's wrong to sell invitations with the little mermaid on them, right? Or a tote bag with Taylor Swift or lyrics on it. And if you didn't know, well, now you do. The problem is truly because you see so many other people doing it that it makes you think that you can do it too. So I wanna tell you a quick story about my experience so that you can say no to copyrighted and trademarked items in your Etsy shop as well. It all started when I used to make handmade party decorations on Etsy. And I had a customer reach out to me to do a custom party theme. This was something I loved to do, which was to have someone come to me to make something really specific that they couldn't find anywhere else online. Sure, there's a ton of stuff, but they wanted something really specific. And that was my sweet spot. And I had a blast doing it. So what I would do back then was I'd ask them, you know, what they needed for their party. I'd create it and then I'd pack it and ship it to their house. And we're talking signs, banners, thank you cards, invitations, favor tags, all the things that you need to have to have a cohesive party theme, right? Now, I am technically not allowed to tell you what theme this particular party was in, but let's just say it's a children's television show that we're all very familiar with, and it's been around for decades and decades. Well, when I switched my handmade items to digital products, it made sense that this top selling party be transformed into printables so that more people could benefit from cheaper items that they could print out themselves, right? Instead of having me custom make it, ship it to them and all the things. So I had a ton of printables available in my shop in this theme. As I said, it was a top selling product and it made me happy that I could give my customers what they needed for their special days. Fast forward to the pandemic when sales were down because people weren't celebrating their events in person, right? So there wasn't much of a need for party decorations. And my husband had just unexpectedly been laid off from his job, which was a big problem because we were in the middle of selling our house. And because of the layoff, we had to back out of the sale. It was not contingent, thanks to our wonderful real estate agent, uh, which really enthralled us in a huge legal battle with our realtor of all people. So what I'm saying is it was a really stressful time. And literally the day after my husband was laid off, I got a very unpleasant email from the legal group that represented the theme of my party. They demanded that I cease and desist selling any and all items in my Etsy shop and on my website, and that I take down all social media posts and blog articles related to said theme. And then most importantly, they demanded to see a spreadsheet of all the money I had made on those products ever. After I shakily sent them the information, they demanded that I pay them every last penny of what I had made over the years. Every last penny. That was not fun. I truly felt like an idiot and I now understand why people warn against doing such a thing on Etsy. So I guess what I want to make clear here is that in some cases, yes, you might just get a slap on the wrist from Etsy, right? You might be told to just deactivate your listing. It might just be a warning email from Etsy telling you that you need to take the listing down, or it may be a full-blown legal situation where you'll have to pay all the money back that you've made on the items. Now that you know that the latter is a possibility, why would you even go there? So you might make millions and then have to pay it all back right? That doesn't seem to be a very good payoff. Now, I will say that the problem for me could be that I was very active on social media. I have over 1 million monthly views on Pinterest and a lot of traffic coming to my blog. So I'm relatively sure that my good, however novice marketing had something to do with the fact that they found me and took me down. But this made it even more tricky because I had to track down all the Pinterest pins and social media posts that I ever made and attempt to delete them, figure out how to go about doing that. So not only was this a costly endeavor, it was also rather time consuming. But even if you don't have those things and you're not active on social or Pinterest, would you wanna risk it? 
I say no. And remember, this is only my experience. So who knows how other companies would handle it, right? I certainly don't want to head to court over any of this or get into any really serious legal trouble. It's just not worth it. And did I mention that this wasn't the last time I had a run-in with copyrighted items? Well, a few years later, I got dinged again in my Etsy shop. And you'd think I'd learned my lesson but as a lay person, um, I thought I was following the rules. I did a little changing. I did a little this and that, as I'm sure you can relate. Maybe you can, maybe you're thinking about it. I thought I was following the rules, but I wasn't. And it wasn't as intense this time, but scary nonetheless. So the point is my Etsy shop is about a smidge away from being taken down with any other infractions that I have. Needless to say, I now try to be really careful, even more careful than before, about what I decide to sell. And that's why in my signature program, The Abundant Girl's Guide to Passive Income with Printables on Etsy, we go over the rules and how to make sure that you're in compliance. But let's be honest, I'm human and it's possible that I can make more mistakes in the future. But these are the lessons that we're here to learn, right? And unfortunately, some of us need a great big boulder when a little pebble is just not gonna do the trick. All this to say that I would encourage you to not sell anything that's copyrighted or trademarked on Etsy. Do your research and you should be good to go. Now, if you're someone who's been thinking about selling printables on Etsy, but you need ideas about what to sell, that aren't copyrighted or not trademarked, why not use ChatGPT? Now, ChatGPT is probably the most overly used tool right now, but there are ways that you can use it to your advantage. And I walk you through exactly how to do that in my free guide, Three Steps to Using AI to Come Up with Printable Ideas. And you can grab that over at atouchofla.com slash AI, and I'll put it down in the description for you to click. So I hope this gives you a little insight into what has happened to me. And if you wanna hear my other story about when I got caught by a giant entertainment conglomerate, <laughs> then tell me below in the comments, and I'll be sure to make a video on it coming up soon. So I will see you in the next video.